Speed took everyone by surprise in 1994 when it became a top-notch action thriller of the year. Directed by Jan de Bont, his first film as a director, the movie is about a bus rigged by a bomber who is all set to explode it, if the speed of the bus drops below 50 miles per hour. The movie starred Keanu Reeves, Sandra Bullock, Dennis Hopper, Jeff Daniels and Joe Morton in lead roles. Made with a budget of $30 million, Speed earned in excess of $350 million at the box office. Graham Yost, the screenwriter's father Elwi Yost told him, about a movie called Runaway Train in 1985, which had a train speeding out of control. Graham felt that it was an interesting premise, should the action be shifted to a moving bus wherein the speed should not go down below a certain limit, lest the bomber may set it to flames. He took the idea to Paramount Pictures, which felt that director John McTiernan of Die Hard fame should direct it. But McTiernan declined because he felt that the story had a Die Hard feel and it would be better if someone else directed it. Cinematographer Jan de Bont who had worked with him in Die Hard expressed interest in the story, and McTiernan felt that Jan de Bont would do a good job. Paramount however passed on the project, because they felt it would be too tiring for the audiences to have all the action on the bus. 20th Century Fox which had distributed Die Hard decided to take up the distribution of Speed, as well. Fox said that the would greenlight the project only if there were action scenes in the film, other than just in the bus. Jan de Bont came with the idea of the bomb on an elevator in an office building, as he had got the brainwave when he was trapped in an elevator while working on Die Hard. Yost opined that they could have the ending on a subway train, rather than just the bus. Fox now saw potential in the idea and the project was greenlit. The other change in the script was the way the dialogues were spoken. The original draft had the protagonist officer Jack Traven coming up with one-liners and sarcastic speech. Keanu Reeves felt that it was not the right way to approach his character, so Josh Whedon the dialogue writer worked with the actor in tweaking the lines from screwball comic approach, to a polite and courteous approach with one who spoke earnestly and to the point. Before Keanu Reeves was brought on board, Stephen Baldwin was considered for the project but he refused because he felt that the movie resembled Die Hard. Other names were Tom Cruise, Woody Harrelson, Tom Hanks and Wesley Snipes. But then the director Jan de Bont wanted someone who didn't look intimidating to men but, interesting for women, someone not too macho, but earnest. Then they zeroed into Keanu Reeves who had also worked with the LAPD, while working on the role of an FBI agent in Point Break in 1991. For the role of Annie, they were looking for Halle Berry, but she declined, and the role fell into Sandra Bullock's lap. Keanu Reeves born in Beirut, Lebanon, in 1964 went on to do many movies of which the successful ones were, Devil's Advocate, The Matrix, The Day the Earth Stood Still and John Wick. Reeves earns a lot of respect and love, and continues gaining fans because of being extremely shy and lovable at the same time. Reeves still continues to work and looks fit as a fiddle, with his movie Matrix 4 on the anvil. Sandra Bullock established herself as a major Hollywood star in years who cool juggle both romantic and thriller roles effectively. Gravity in 2013, became her biggest hit till date. She has also turned producer and is working and acting in movies like The Bullet Train. Dennis Hopper was chosen because they wanted Payne to look like a regular guy who gets pissed one day. Hopper who was already an established name, won a lot of appreciation for his role in Speed, and went on to do Waterworld a year later. He died on May 29, 2010 due to prostate cancer. One of the ways to know if you have made an interesting movie is when people start moving backward with their eyes on the screen. This is what happened when a Fox producer saw audience members walking to the bathroom backward with their eyes glued to the screen during the test screenings. Keanu Reeves did 90% of stunts himself including, the scene where he jumps from a Jaguar into the bus. 11 GM New Look buses and 3 Grumman 870 buses were used in the film. Each bus had two steering wheels, one for Sandra Bullock and the other for the stunt driver on the roof of the bus. Many of the freeway scenes shown in the film were on California's Interstate 105 and Interstate 110, in the area known now as Judge Harry Pregerson Interchange. Mojave Airport was shown as Los Angeles International Airport. Some of the shots of the subway train, as if runs off the rails were of a miniature model. The subway scenes were shot on board on an actual Los Angeles Metro Red Line. The only subway scene faked in the movie and shot in the studio were that of Keanu Reeves and Dennis Hopper fighting on top of the train. 
Did you find this video helpful? If yes, please hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and press the bell icon for new videos.